weird, but let's do, this is percent, so uh, we'll do, instead of 50, we'll do 75, that's what we have to, yeah, 75, it's by for percent, not by pixel, so um, same thing, horizontal, there we go, um, and then we can do ones in between these two, which is what I kind of want to do, but this is going to be a pain, but it'll be fine, we'll get through it together, guys, I promise you, all right, so instead of 75, we'll do, uh, I want to go by 15, maybe 85, is that right? Um, yeah, let's do 85, and then we'll do 95, um, so 95, I don't know if I like that, though, um, you know what we'll do is, instead, I'll get rid of that, that other one we did, so I won't do the 75, I'll do, we'll do 65, no, we'll do, we'll just do 60, we'll do 60, and then we'll add another one, and we'll do 70, and then we'll do 80. And then that'll be it. We can't put nothing else on the screen except for that much. But I keep going up there. That's weird. Um, ah, you know, do we'll do 92. We'll do 90. And then we'll be done with the 90. Yeah. All right. Sweet. That's fine. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 spaces on, your, on the first page. If you don't have enough room for 15 apps, then you need to go somewhere else. This is not the phone for you then. <laughs> Um, I'm gonna go ahead and change this icon now. We can we can add anything we want to it. Really, we can just make like a big little logo. Maybe I'll use the lasso tool. Maybe this is like a hiking app. Maybe you have a hiking app because you like to hike. I don't know what you like to do in your personal time. I'm not judging. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and just uh, use the lasso tool. Just hold down Control to snap to angles like that. Hit Enter, and then go ahead and just um, I use the paint bucket tool. Add a new layer. Paint pick up a tool. I paint it white just for now. Select none, use a rectangle tool, turn rounded corners off and drag a square, get rid of this little unwanted piece, delete, select none, boom, now we got a mountain, a mountain, crop the content, and then I want to go ahead and change the color of this button here, which is this layer, there we go, um, and this button is going to be, this button is going to be a nice blue color, it's going to be a nice blue, bluey blue, like this. And maybe I'll use curves to get it better. Uh, colors, curves, and then we'll just bump that up a little bit. Bump this down. Turn the blue value up. Eh, that's not really doing much because it's a weird color blue. Uh, there we go. Green's helping me out a little bit. And then the we'll turn the red down as well. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. That's what I'm looking for. Then we'll hue shift it over, saturate, lightness, saturate. There we go. Good enough for me. Just getting this color trying to perfect, which doesn't really matter. I'm spending too much time doing this. All right, we'll grab that mountain icon. Go to scale, scale it down by holding uh, holding down control so it does it, so it snail, scales properly, and then scale. And you can do this as many times as you want to. This is just an example. Maybe you have a little uh, hiking app, and maybe it's called Climber. That's pretty cool. Oh, that's a good idea. Oh, million dollar idea right there. Uh, climber like that. Oh, yeah. That's cool. I like that. That's that's really sweet. But then again, I mean, why do you need to know where mount mountains are? I mean, do you really need to? I mean, do people? Do you, okay, if you hike right now, let me know in the comments. Do you need to know where mountains are to hike mountains? How do people find mountains to hike? Do they go on a, a climbing app? Is that a thing? I think it might be a thing, guys. I, I just don't know. Um, anyway, we'll select that mountain and the word climber. Hit uh, right click, new group. And then we'll drag both of those into that group. So we'll grab both of those, and now they're in the same group. We can scale this bad boy now. I'm going to scale it. Uh, hold down Control, scale it down easy. Scale, there we go. Um, and now that's a nice app button. I want to go ahead and do the same thing. Add a new layer over top of inside this group still. And then we'll grab the gradient tool and go from top to bottom. Hold down Control, hit Enter, and then turn this mode from normal to overlay. And then... What's up with overlay lately? What's going on here? Hold on, wait a second now. This is strange. It's oh, that's why, because the button's not in here. Well, <laughs> drag the button as well. I'm silly. Drag the button in, and then this should. There we go. <laughs> it's like what's going on? All right, there we go. Very subtle effect. Maybe I'll take the. You know what I'll do? I'll, I'll go to transparency, color to alpha, and then I'll t I'll take the white off of it. Make sure that color is white. Then hit OK. Then turn the overlay all the way back up. So now there's a slight gradient going down instead of the highlight as well. That looks really good. I like it. Um, now. One last thing, uh, just to give you a guy's idea of what you can do with more buttons and stuff like that. I'm going to go ahead and duplicate our, our, our actual button, the thing itself. Uh, go to Colors, Colorize, change it to Solid White. Uh, move it up slightly, just a little bit, just like that. 
then uh, mode, overlay, and then turn it down a little bit. So now you have this little 3D looking effect right there, which is pretty sweet. Move it up a little bit more, maybe. Something like that. And then maybe, you know what I'll do is instead of doing that, we'll do it the other way around because I don't want to take space away from the actual app itself. So I'll turn the lightness, I'll turn the lightness all the way down to black and then change the mode back to normal. Um, I'll move it underneath everything and then grab the move tool, move it down a little bit until it gets right where on top of the black and then I'll move it down um, a little bit like this. So there's a little bit of a shadow. Then I'll turn the mode, uh, the opacity down to 25, 50 to 50 and then we'll, we'll go ahead and go to layer a new layer image uh, layer to image size sorry and then filters blur gaussian blur and then go to 50 no 15 go to go to 20 go to 20 <laughs> we'll go to we'll go to we'll go to 30 <laughs> we'll go to 30 there we go we go to 30 and then we'll turn the mode from normal to gr grain merge and then no not grain merge let's do let's put it on normal and then we'll just change the opacity to 25 25 and now when you duplicate this entire layer you can make new buttons by just duplicating this group layer hitting a uh, duplicate layer and then just grabbing the move tool moving it over like so hit uh, layer crop to content crop to content and then just move it over where you want it. Well, this is not in the center anymore because of the shadow. I don't like the shadow. Let's get rid of the shadow. I don't like that thing. Doesn't look very good anyway. Um, there we go. I like flat graphic stuff. I do. Um, all right. So we'll just move, we'll move this group in. We'll move this group move this group into the center. <laughs> uh, crop the content. There we go. And that button's messed up now. Of course it is. There we go. Now, so when you want to just have more apps or whatever else, you can just go ahead and just change what this says, change the font all up, edit, um, and we'll just like make a new one. Maybe this is, maybe this one has no text on it and it's like, I don't know, I don't want to make another logo, so we'll just flip it. <laughs> maybe this one's a vampire, a vampire dating website. This is uh, fangs.love. There we go. And this one's red, so we'll just hue shift that to a reddish, reddish color like that. Yeah, this is great apps we have on this phone, by the way. I don't know whose phone this is, but it's you should really treasure this person, man. We get rid of that gradient, too. Nice flat graphic icons. I love this. This is gorgeous. Uh, and then I'll just duplicate that mountain icon. The, I'm sorry, not the mountain icon. The fangs icon. And then flip it. So I'll just flip it so now the fangs are even. Look how much of a genius I am. That's because I live in 2029. That's why. Um, and then we're going to go ahead and just leave that like that. You can make a bunch of more apps and all this stuff, whatnot, but I really like doing this. It's a lot of fun to do. We're going to go to view and then get rid of the, uh, guides. There we go. So that is gorgeous. That's our phone screen. You can do a lot more stuff. This is pretty basic. I just love doing it. I thought I would share it with you. I really, really like doing this. We'll definitely do more stuff like this in the future. Hope you boys and girls enjoyed it. I'll see you in the next one, but until then, bye-bye. Oh,